It's me, Guild Freestyle, back again with some new items I have for sale. Isn't this the cutest little outfit? Okay, so I'm keeping the lace top. I might sell it eventually, but um, I just, I thrifted it. <sighs> this top cost me $2 and I'm so excited and I love it because I really wanted like a nice little girly lace top for the summer, so this is perfect. However, the black corset that is sitting on top of it, it's silk, it's Ann Taylor, that is for sale on my Poshmark. It's silk, it's ribbed, it's got a side zip, which I am gonna take it off, but this is gonna be entirely a braless video. So I hope I don't offend anybody, but I hate bras. Anyway, that's that, but this is the corset. So cute. I thought it would be great layered over this white top, and it is. You could do it over a white dress shirt. That would be super cute too. Next up is this cute green, mint green pencil skirt, which I adore. It is a large. The top is a size 12, so it's really one loaf of French bread away from fitting perfectly on me. You could do like a high-waisted look with this. I love the idea of layering it over, but then also putting on just like a black dress jacket with it as well. That might be cute. Um, I like it with the mint. Yeah. And then just a simple heel. Here we go, guys. Where is she going? I got it. I got it. She's a wedding planner. She's a wedding planner and business is about to ramp up again. And so it's also going into a heat wave. So she's got her, her notebook and her matching mint green pen that says, we live like this because she means business. And she's inviting people into her home today because COVID is over. Have you heard? And nobody's wearing a mask, so she's put on a lip. She's feeling fabulous. Yeah, they're gonna plan a wedding. It's gonna be small because, you know, they don't wanna go crazy just yet. Probably 50 people. Colors are gonna be white, mint, and gold. That's where she's going. This is the next item. It's pink. I'm wearing lots of colors. So here's the thing. I was challenged by a coworker named George uh, to wear more color for Pride Month. And um, I accept that challenge. So this is super trendy also because colors are so huge right now. Not really on brand for me, but I'm having fun with it. It's fun to wear color, why not? This top is a little, you know, Nipply again, so I'm gonna just do this for your benefit, not for mine. I basically just pull those out of bathing suits and stuff, so I have them laying around. But just like that, you're not offending anyone. Super trendy, it's bright fuchsia pink, it's got the one shoulder, very flattering. It is a large, I matched it with this mint green skirt because I thought, why not? May as well punch it up all the way. Um, and actually, my inspiration, which I'll post here, always wears colors, and this is one of her favorite color combinations. Sorry, I put 17 layers of mascara on just so that you could barely see it. And now it's getting in my eyes. She's gonna grab her mint pen again because she's opening her own ice cream parlor. And this is so perfect because she's fashionable. Why is she gonna open this parlor? It's gonna be on Robertson Boulevard because she has a disposable income. So she can pretty much choose wherever she wants to lease out of space. And yeah, this is her first meeting. You know, the dust is settling. They've put in all of the shelving and now it's just her talking to her manufacturer about flavors flavors. So there's going to be definitely vanilla because even though she's wearing color, vanilla is her favorite. So we're going to do vanilla bean. We might call it schmanella. 
These are just ideas. Next item are these shorts. They have pockets. They're from Zara. They have this great drawstring. You can cinch it even tighter if you want. They are an XL. This top is a large, I believe. Um, there's one cute little pocket in the back. And it's that fabric that's very like, for me, 80s high school. I hate gym, or at least I did for a while in the awkward years, you know? Everybody hated gym in the awkward years. So where is she going in this? I thought it would be cute to style it with this top. Why not? I think we just went to our first tennis lesson, guys. We just went to our first tennis lesson. Looking cute, but not very functional. So next time we'll probably wear a different top. But the shorts were great. They were breathing easy. They're lined with this netting that makes it nice and cool and comfortable. That's it. Good thing is, my sweat disappeared and there's nothing left but a rosy scent. So I'm gonna go straight to, you guessed it, champagne brunch with my friends. And that is what's happening in this outfit. We're going full tilt with this color thing. It's Pride Month, happy Pride. I don't know why I kicked. Happy Pride! These pants are the next item. They're paper bag waist from Zara. Probably a couple seasons ago, but they're having a moment because everybody's wearing pink. How cute, and they're wide leg with pockets. Um, I'm pairing them with this top because, um, I don't know. They don't, they're not the exact same pink, but I actually think that I would wear this and get away with it, right? Right, these are listed as well. They are a size medium. Where are we going, where are we going? We're going out. You know what? We're 50 plus, we don't have to wear mini skirts anymore. This is the kind of outfit that we wear to go dancing. This is just comfortable. You can eat, you can drink, you can dance, you can bachata. <laughs> listed because I'm on my game today so go to my Poshmark guilt-free posh and check them out oh hi hi um, how are you yes come on in oh of course you can sit with us of course we are at we're at a convention we're at a convention you had to RSVP and pay $20 entry fee. Normally it's free, but they didn't want people to go nuts. So uh, they put a little bit of a fee on it. And it's a secret convention for people who own their own boutiques. She owns her own fashion boutique, right? That's why she can wear mint green with fuchsia, which seems wild to me, but people do it. Fashion boutique owners do it. <sighs> okay. This top is listed on Poshmark. It's a crop top. It's got this cute lace sleeve that I've turned into, sorry, these white bra things are, I just literally stuck them in here so I don't offend you again. These lace sleeves are so sweet, aren't they? The little dot detail. You can wear it up like that or down like this. I feel like when you do go braless and you have a bigger chest, if you have a lower neckline like this, people can't tell as much that they're sagging, right? Because there's all this negative space up here. But watch, if I go like this, and I pull everything up, they're really sagging now. So little tricks, little tips and tricks, guys. Tips and tricks. I wonder if this top could go with that mint green skirt. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. Kind of cute. No? I like it. I like it. And this is a good place to stop. Thank you for coming on this journey with me again this week. What's that? You're wondering where she's going? Oh, um, I have to tell you where she's going. This woman is a 50 plus blogger 
who has a full-time job but can't let go of her part-time thrifting career because she wants to save the universe one thrifted item at a time and also is scared to death of being caught out there in a pandemic with no income again. That's who this woman is. Sorry, it got a little dark there, guys. We're still having fun even though I said those things. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun making this. This top, this skirt. Oh, this top is a medium. The pinks that you saw, the one shoulder, the culottes, the white shorts, and the black bustier all listed already on my Poshmark because your girl's on her game today. Have a good rest of your Tuesday and I hopefully will see you guys again soon.